Okay. Hi you. Okay, so I wanna see why there is a guy behind chairs. Uh, why there is two guys behind chairs? Okay. Uh, I'm I'm focusing on the wrong things. I wanna hear about the game. Let's go. And then we're gonna have this is the Tokyo Sands gameplay screen that you can see right now. Oh, this is the character creation. Okay, 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 yeah. Captain said that we're gonna start with that. Wait, 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 wait. This, the, 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 this character, one more time. I wanna see this one one more time. Wait a second. This guy. <laughs> this one looks genius. It's like Viking. But an ammo Viking, you know what I mean? He he he's listening to he's listening to the sweet sweet sad music. This is the emo Viking. I love this. Let's go. <laughs> he will uh, say these are just presets for the demo. It will have a detailed creator. Yeah, of course. But I love this. I freaking love this emo Johnny Depp Viking. Let's go. Yes, this is it. <laughs> I can see this guy popping up Linking Park in the background. I just see it. These, these some of these look really cute and I really like the clothing. The this is just for the show floor demo version <laughs> to make things go quickly. We've made some preset characters for you mm. to choose, but the full game has the detailed character creator that you've come to know and love. Mm -hmm. I really like the clothing, it's cute. We've also included voices by default on each character today, but in the full game you will be able to choose the voice. <gasps> Look at these cute characters! Oh my god, the floof one. Wait, no, give default back the floof on one. Today, but in the full game you will be able to choose the voice you want to have on your hunt. This is Mochi. This is almost Mochi. Mochi is floof white uh, Kato with some like splashes of uh, light brown here and there. This is, this is basically Mochi. Well, his paws are not black, but yeah. Sure. Ragdoll Palico, let's go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Is this even a cat? This looks like a mouse or a rat. I love the ears and the freaking smug. Just. Hey there. How are you doing? <laughs> I know our community love to express themselves via their hunters. And no, not just I their hunters, but he's their ready hunters. to hunt. Oh yeah, he's ready to hunt, man. Very cute. <laughs> exactly, and similarly, you know, we want to keep things simple for the show floor demo. People mm -hmm. who are coming to queue to play the game don't have to waste too much time. The handler looks it. pretty cute this time. Created here, but you'll be able to do some detailed settings in the full game. Yeah, I'm loving the different hair color options as well. As Hi Chica! Welcome! How are you doing today? I finally can catch your stream, let's go! Spotted that in there. She looks pretty okay. I would not make her that style. Because... Is it the handler? I think she's the handler. I think she's the handler. <laughs> So we've got I I don't know if I'm if Joe I'm Scott. digging the nerdy the nerdy one like mm, the nerdy look. Hi Flea, welcome. How are you today? But only for a minute, Miss Ad. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Chica. I'm happy that you were able to say hi. One of them is for perhaps the more beginner hunters who want to have a bit of an introduction to the story. She's the almost the handler. We will learn more, more about her. Okay, I'm good. Happy to right hear. into the action. Needless to say, that's the I one don't know. Today. I kind of my issue with this girl, I think, is she she doesn't necessarily fit. I can see her literally in any game as a writer or just a nerdy girl in a school. You know, the typical teenage girl being somewhere there. I I don't know, man. She feels off in the environment. She looks okay, but I don't know if I agree with her environment. She's not the not the hunter from Monster Hunter. True, that's true. But yeah, I I just don't think I agree with this this one being a handler necessarily. And I meaning I don't feel like she fits the game itself. <laughs> uh, this art, uh, this is cool. And here we are in the camp as well, obviously. Uh okay, this is camp. We 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 don't have to watch this then. Let's hop in here and see this timestamp. 
Oh wait, the quest was uh, before that. Wait a second, let me, let me... Yeah, 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 they were doing some demo hunts all three days. I wanna check how the quest um, system works. Like, do they have more of a rise quest system or maybe more of a world one? Let me just... I really like this outfit, but again, I don't feel like this looks like an armor of Monster Hunter. I feel like this looks like an outfit, but not for Monster Hunter. I, mm, I don't know if I like the designs of the clothing. So, as you can see, you can choose from any of the 14 weapon types here in the camp. Although we were discussing... I think this is Puke Puke one, but I'm not certain. Now that I'm going solo, I'm gonna... Keep it simple and go with my usual choice of great swords. A fine yeah. choice, a classic. Interesting way of making the equipment this time. Mm. The controllers should be working now, so let's see if we can get back into the action. Oh, they broke the controller already, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see the hunting. Why did you stop? I didn't ask you to stop. Okay, so I see both. So no tracking this time. We're back to the rise with that one. We're back to the fact that we don't track the monster. And of course, you might have noticed zero loading screens. Zero of buffer, course. Just ride straight out from the movement of the monster Actually, the seems a bit off here yeah, for is, now, but hopefully is, they're gonna the make it, you know, the details will be made better the later. Time. Okay, we have the capes from the world, so that's back as I see, that's good. So we can see that the monsters are forming a bit of a pack here. Yeah, 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 of course. I think Takuda stands a bit at the minute, I wonder how he'll do. Okay, the quest the quest has started now, so you have to like kind of start it when you actually when you actually attack. Okay. Where could they be leading him? Far away. I didn't saw what he clicked to run on the little thingy on the mount. You can get straight back onto your mount and into the action. That's good. Smooth smooth mounting is always very important in these games, so I'm happy to see that. Kokuda-san is sometimes surprised by the monster behavior because it's so realistic and unpredictable. He's never seen them run away this quickly, so he's having to change his strategy to figure out. <laughs> They've clearly heard of his hunting prowess. And we've got mounted combat there. Very weird. The monsters would run away instead of fighting. That's Maybe wild. this specific type of monster is more fle uh, flee than uh, fight, you know? You have flight or fight. Maybe these are more flight. Uh centered taking advantage of the uh, light bow guns range there yeah, yeah these are not predators so maybe these just you know they don't want to fight they actually march rather them. run uh, just to, just to keep them on their toes you have like when you have uh deers for example oh unless they're really so threatened they're, they're like not gonna try to fight you they're gonna try to flee so maybe these are similarly the same boing <laughs> yeah, you have you have three monsters here fighting at the same time. That's not easy, man. Plus the small monsters running around. Ah <laughs> no, poor poor little things. Okay. I really like the um, detailed physics on the character itself like you can see the hair following the movement of the character when it runs around you can see that the hair actually follows when you turn around and the hair is like swooshing that way very very nice that's an interesting way of showing this I did not saw such menu in Monster Hunter World Arise was this something that was in the previous editions of Monster Hunter? Is this, is this something that used to be used and I just don't know about, or is this new? Okay, so this seems like a new type of UI setup. Interesting, okay. So instead of just scrolling, you can pop it out. Interesting, interesting. I wonder how, um, how troublesome that can be when you need to select something from the higher row instead of the lowest one. And then we see the large dunk pod being deployed. 
which hopefully should split the pack up because... <laughs> Hi Hunter! Welcome! How are you doing today? With that in mind, I could see Diablos only fighting you if you hit him or if you get close to its nest because it is not technically a predator in just territorial. I see, I see, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so it tells you whenever a monster is about to leave this time because in world it would not do that. In world it would just say it left. You didn't have indication that they are about to leave. Okay. So we're seeing obviously mountain in Monster Hunter Wild. Okay. And the new way it has been added to the game. Oh, I like this animation. It's cool. Oh, Hi, Crab! <laughs> well, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> We're getting the well, actually moments. Oh, the and small the ones small are attacking it too. Oh, no. Well. That's kind of so sad, say, actually. As we mentioned, a living, breathing world. And we see this, this pack of small monsters taking advantage of uh, Doshiguma being in a bit of a tough spot. I don't like that. It's kind of too realistic. It makes me sad, though. Makes me feel bad for the monster that I'm hunting even more. No, I would try to help. We have this kind of interaction at different levels of the ecosystem. It brings an extra Yes, but it makes me such though. The Jagras do that too? Not that often. I know that this is nature, but what I mean is you don't have um as dramatically changing. The, the whole complex or the small monsters join in for the big monster they will attack you not experience. the monster itself <laughs> most of the time oh this lizard we, we saw it in one of the trailers our, our okay now they're fighting Tahara. together yeah that and, makes uh, sense and, uh, Doshiguma, they don't seem to be getting on too well uh, we're seeing oh, oh, oh boy so uh Tokuri-san, what are we seeing here exactly <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, this guy is fighting for his life here, and you're like, what are we seeing? <laughs> the Jagras, uh, the, the Shamors, uh, the other small predators, heck, even the Palicos do it. I didn't notice that in that often, or not in that detail, I guess. We have a certain monster here that was officially revealed. Yes, this Kiwi boy. Hi. The apex monster of the Windward Plains, Ray Dow. And we have seen the community calling it Thor Magala. I can see why. I can see why people would call it Gora Magala. Okay, but this looks very promising. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, I want to see the next day that they were having the conversations, which is here. So I'm at, I'm at Why? Why must you do this to me? Thormagala sounds perfect. Now I'm going to be even more scared of it. <laughs> okay, so we're fighting the big scary now. Okay, okay. Hello, stranger. Welcome. Valstrak crashes nearby. Hello. Oh boy. Valstrak is coming in too. Okay, so all of them are fighting together this time. This is the cob, guys. This is the cob when you when you fight together. I don't know why they must have split the screen. I think it would be much easier to see one POV instead of four, but that's fine. Still waiting for my Switch Axe gameplay. My goodness. Wait, who is fighting with what? That's a question. Uh, what do we see? I see Hunting Horn. I think this is uh, Lance. Uh, I don't know what's the Jono. Uh, Stanton, what's playing? Hammer Doko? I don't know actually. There is a hammer here. So you can see that. I still the see the preset Raffian moveset. <laughs> Listen, man. They will be. Re oh no! Ryozo! <laughs> they will have to reuse some moves, as of course. Hammer, lance, and the great sword. Oh, sword and shield and great. Okay, there is a hammer. Ryozo, yeah. Ryozo is playing with hammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
you respawn from the closest quick camp that you've set of course yeah that makes sense my board. pro <laughs> so yeah there you go you have your you you have your you have your uh hammer boy i really like the movement of the mounts too they are very quick very nice and very fluent very good i like the map i like the map too it's very i really like that look at their maps each of their maps is slightly different I think you can set it up. Hello, Johnny. Welcome. How are you doing? When are we got, uh, getting uh, Blunderbuss and Monster Hunter? I don't think ever. They say it has two modes. Oh, I see. Yeah, I can see that they are slightly different. So I wonder what are those two modes. Where is the switch axe? I'm sorry, crap. Maybe a bit later on there will be one. Don't worry. We're going to see switch axe. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have been done a better job as a hammer in gameplay demo. Eh, it's fine, you it know. It is convenient to set your camp up close to the action, but it's also a bit of a risky strategy because that's going to be a, a location. Tra uh, transparent uh, and one full screen. Oh, I so see. The okay. might actually be able to follow you to there and attack you and even destroy your camp. So you're mm -hmm. going to need to decide the balance between distance and For safety. For traveling, okay. So your camp can be destroyed. So yeah. Okay, so there are camps that can be destroyed. You can set up camp and they can be destroyed. No, dude. Um, yeah, if you watched the stream yesterday, you know that he almost is barely escaped cooking alive. <laughs> I'm checking uh, exactly what's in this time timestamp. Uh, there should be also stuff about weather in here. I hope they improved the switch axe. I really want to love it, but so far it's the most frustrating weapon I tried to learn. I. I actually don't know. Whoa, look at the cooking! Look at the cooking animation! Oh, this looks so tasty and I'm hungry because we couldn't finish the dinner before the stream. No! I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. It has barbecue and barbecue grill mode now. Oh my god, I want it. Wait, I'm on the... Rewind? Okay. Mm, more, more. Okay, somewhere here they start cooking. So we can choose what we want. We take veggies, we have meat, we have fish, okay. They choose veggies. You can add more if you want, okay. Mushroom, you can add some herbs, okay. Start cooking, okay, that's cool. I just had Thai pasta. Stop it! I'm hungry! You can't do this to me! This is very cool that now you can create a whole freaking meal. Previously, I think it was preset. You just either grill the meat or nothing else. I also want to see this really quick. Okay, so this is basically this. Okay. Yeah, that's the barbecue. It looks super cool. I love this. Thank you for the hydrate! Become Oh, very nice. You can still just fry a steak for its buffs, of course. Yeah, the cooking animation it looks very nice. I really like it. Jokasan is just taking the time out for a nice meal on the sidelines. Don't worry, I haven't eaten for a while either. Please eat something, crab. It's important. Okay, so I see that the visuals of the monster. Uh, with the wounds is very similar to Monster Hunter World. I see that it's very, very similar. Time to fish! Let's go! Fishing animation! The most important one in the game, yes. Sounds like something's about to happen here. Nice, nice. Yeah. Who, who needs to fight a monster when you can just fish? <laughs> fish is the most important thing. Yeah! But yeah, I see that a lot of uh, aspects of hunting were taken from world and not from rice. You're not going to be choosing bait to put on the end of your hook, but actually different lures. So it's a bit of a different fishing system. Imagine eating your, uh, yourself. I don't think crab should eat himself. <gasps> Look at that fish! Let's go! That was a nice uh, catching a fish animation. I liked that. It was very cool. That, that, that applause was for the fish, not for the monster attacking. <laughs> oh, the boys still rolling around. Let's go. Okay, so this is the map. I see. That's a huge map, by the way. 
Brioso is asking, hey, where are you guys? You gotta uh, you know, showcase the important bit. bit. Exactly. Kind of well, at a time like this, you can use the auto feature of the secret to reach the target hunt, well, target the hunt, right? Okay, there we go. We got we got all so, of them. The I do still have some like crab legs left. Up, Maybe I should do here. that for dinner tonight. We're gonna have a chicken and a mustard sauce. Just the first area is already huge and it's an open world. Yeah, it's an yeah, absolutely look, huge uh, area. I don't know. Actually, that's my question about Monster Hunter Wilds. Where they where will they have different maps like what it was previously in World and Rise? Or do they literally just make one huge map? Okay, so they will have still different maps. Yeah, th if this is just one map, my god, this is huge. Um, Power Toad, which is one of the endemic life traps. Uh, even in the world, you did not have such a huge map. I know that uh, Rise was very compacted, so the maps were quite small. But World didn't have such one, uh, such huge ones. One huge map separated into biomes. Okay, so it is one huge map instead of the separation of World and Rise. Okay. Damn, man, that's 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 huge. You do you know what that means, guys? That means that there is more space for me to get lost in. <laughs> Do you know what's gonna end up happening once I'm gonna be playing this game? I'm gonna be freaking lost so many times because I go the wrong way. Oh my god. No! That, this time if I go to the wrong end of the map, I'm just gonna be half an hour running back and forth. <laughs> Damn it! If it was all one map, considering how many things would be on the map at once, man, I worry for the console players who can't rig uh, their stuff to run better. <laughs> I don't care about running. This means I can't install this game in my hard disk. Uh, had to buy a new SSD. Whoopsie. Don't worry, Tori. You, uh, your secrets will just bring you to where you were meant to go. There's, of course, sure. <laughs> Hi, Professor! Welcome! Happy to see you! It's going well! The weekend is just starting, so I can't say much. Hello, dear Mudfish! Hi, hi! Why is this world uh, guiding land in full glory? My goodness. I'm gonna die on this map. I'm gonna get lost, man. Ryozo is suggesting maybe we set a trap and do some oh. barrel bomb action. Oh yes, that's a good idea. Where's the, uh, where's the uh, trap? Do you know way. who's the uh, president of Sony Europe? Uh, no, oh, I, oh, I, I don't view. really. I gonna get lost too. Yay, let's go! We all are just gonna be aimlessly running around the map, lost everywhere. So we be like, I zigged when I should have zacked. <laughs> no, fatally so. Oh no, please no. I always set up traps. I don't. His name is Ben Dover. Wow. I can't wait for Tori to get lost in the guiding lands when she gets there. No, please, I don't wanna get lost. I wanna be not lost. I wanna know where I go every time I go there. I don't know why they're happy. What, what's happening? I think I think they didn't manage to trap it for whatever reason. Yeah, maybe this was a little too early to be. Yeah, it seems they didn't manage to trap. Early in the hunt, and it, it didn't Next time, uh, okay. Let's do it again. Yes, I get, I get it, professor. I get it. Don't worry. Everyone, grab a. I'm uh, thinking about it. How will wilds handle those super end of the world level dragons? Will everything across the wilds just go into hiding? No, I think you're gonna be mostly uh, revealing the map with time. So I think what they're gonna be doing, they're not gonna throw you into the middle of this map and just leave you there and good luck. I think that what it's gonna do, it's gonna be progressively giving you more of them up and the more you reveal the stronger monsters you find i think that's how it's gonna go but i might be wrong you better not find uh why guys what's up with you today 
Monsters running at high speed glitch. <laughs> okay, so uh, Captain says to check the next timestamp, which was this one, I believe. Between distance and safety. So your cam can be destroyed. Wait. <laughs> we already watched this. This is about the camp. Uh, I never saw the freaking uh, weather change, so I guess I missed that. Uh, okay, so we need next timestamp. Wisely. Wait, stop. You this one. You know what? I'm just gonna close some of these so that I have less of them. I'm gonna get lost soon. The item that you have for the situation, so you don't need to waste a mega potion anymore whenever you only have a little bit of health on. Okay, so this is voting for ending the quest. Uh, but if that's the case, when there is probably a place where elders reside, and then there is the place where the apex elders reside and then there is the black dragons and it just spirals from there we're gonna see crow how they solve it i'm certain they will they will they will solve it it's gonna press and hold the touchpad here and you'll notice that the end quest immediately option has come up it's interesting to get on top of monsters to just carve them let's see or whenever you only have a little bit of health on yeah you do get on top of the monster to carve it. it's interesting so Everyone's gonna press and hold the touchpad here, and you'll notice that the end quest immediately option has come up. Mm -hmm. The viewing is go do going well, we just started basically. So Hello there, Link! Welcome! How are you doing today? For once, it's not me or Crap trying to get Tori to say sus things, I, I guess. Oh, Stop hey! Stop following me! Link, thank you so much for the follow! Welcome to my comfy space, I happy to stay! Hi, hi! Okay, bye, Professor. Thank you for sa for saying hi. Now that all four players have done end quest immediately, that's it. It's all done, and they're going to stay on the map. Now, I've noticed that we've not gone back to camp, and this must be part of the seamless gameplay of Monster Hunter Wild. So, what are our next options? My camp in Modarai, then in my seamless in field, and in this kid, or to keep it all safe in this or cut. Yeah, I wonder how they want to do this because if you're in a co op session and you. I see myself out. Thank you. Uh, and you end the mission, you're not going to your instance of. Uh, of game. So I wonder how they, how they do this when you want to like play with randoms and you want to go for one mission. Find my target monster and now I, I like the how the map is looking yes the map is very nice and uh, easy to read i yeah, really like it like, i've got sacred just automatically tracking but at any moment i can just veer off and take control i am a bit sad that they ditched the system from world when you have to track the monsters it's probably a hub so you will go back there okay i'm a bit uh, sad about that because it was fun i think that it was when it was lost in monster hunter rise it felt too easy, you know? You never had to worry about where the monster is. You immediately, bam, this is the monster that I want to uh, hunt this time. I just go there, hunt the monster, and I really like the things in the Monster Hunter world when you have to actually track the monster. It's really fun. I'm really sad that they don't have it in the new one. I, I wish they did. And then if I want to have a drink or a snack, I can press up and we're back on the auto track. An auto truck. <laughs> oh. If you take a look at Ryozo's <laughs> screen, you can see he's taking another time out to look at the beautifully detailed. End. The best NAS jokes I saw so far was someone sending uh, to a streamer a big stock of uh, stack of CDs and bag of NAS. Oh, I am. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> He's doing some bird watching to add to his fishing exploits. <laughs> uh, Ryoto san, would it be true to say that during different periods uh, of the locale and environment that we'll see different endemic life? Oh, that's interesting. I'm really happy about that. That you have cycles of endemic life. You have bird watching, literally bird watching in a game. Let's go. The, the the dev team of this game is like, guys, we made a very pretty environment. We made a very pretty world and ecosystem. We gotta show it off, man. We gotta make fishing, bird watching, fish watching. We gotta show it, man. There is a day and night cycle. They have to appreciate it. <laughs> How to get honey. The best one was the actual snack, the, uh, these uh, 
These nuts, I'm not kidding, this is real, oh my god, why would you name your freaking snack like this? Exactly, so you can see those migratory birds, they actually only appear- When there is a demand, there is a seller, oh yes. I remember other timers uh, for the quest, yes, you can see it on the right corner, uh, right here. Wait, I'm I'm right here. This uh, this is the timer for the mission, I presume. These developers really love fishing and foods. Good, I love those too. During the bountiful period oh. of this particular map, so depending on the conditions, the creatures you see might change. More plentiful flora brings with it more methods for recovery. Okay, I think this this is enough of this timestamp. The next timestamp to do 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 do. Mm, okay, we have the last uh, timestamp that is about the handler in this in this From stream. Alma about the Doshagama quest we're about to go on. That's awesome. For those who don't know, Alma is your handler in the mm -hmm. Monster Hunter Wilds, and um, I hear that she's all the hunters. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, this is the spoiler for later. Wow, what do you mean? And the ads um, for these nas. How these nas? Oh my god. It's not just gonna stay the marketing team right. did a good job i guess <laughs> okay so this is it this is it uh, this is it for the field and the quest that's happening Okay, so we have the uh, the typical uh, camp tent that you can do stuff in. Noted. She can accompany you as a support hunter. Okay, so we have that system back, which is not bad. I, I like that system. It's like the new uh, Zealander Duck Commission. <laughs> what makes me upset is that uh, the Palico wasn't named. Wait, whoa, you cannot name your Palico anymore? Ah, that sucks. I hope they change that. Maybe it's just in the demo. Maybe it's just in the demo. I love the Palico just looking at you. Hunters don't have names either. Yeah, it's probably just a demo. Yeah, this is just demo. But you get it pretty quick, so you won't have to wait long. Oh, that's great. Thank you for the clarification. Oh, I like that the hunter, when you're equipping the a oh. weapon on your back, oh. the hunter will be turning oh. around to show you the weapon. And that's very cool. Okay, okay. So this is all from this stream that we wanted to check out. What was this stump again? Uh... <laughs> Oh, well, where did that where did that girl come from? So we have then detailed item box. You can see we're getting the quest uh, and detailed screen right here in the field, right? So it's completely seamless. Okay. Okay, so we get more more stuff about the taking the quest in the wild. How can you explain the song Pride of a Nameless Hunter? Well, you think that the NPC is mainly for solo hunters? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Uh, we'll see. What second weapon, uh, second weapons we will get? We'll see. I'm loving this handler already. She kind of chill. To camp ourselves. Oh, what have we got here? If, 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 if you take a look on, on top of the sand screen, you can see that there are now special awards at the end of the hunt, which gives everyone different categories of how they contributed. So in this. Ah, oh, that's cute. Taru, taru shokuni. Taru shokuni. If every person brings an NPC, yeah, that's. I think that would be a bit too crowded at a certain point. Eight men hand and hands would be cool for the really big mons. Yeah. Uh, oh my God! Look at this cooking animation. Ah, the fish and shrimp! Let's go! I love that you actually see what you cooked. And the detail, little detail, guys. Look, look at the fish carefully. <laughs> he <laughs> stabs it through. And it's not just that you stab it through. You can see that it goes f throughout the whole piece of this fish. In a lot of games, this little piece of detail would be missed. 
They would not care for you to see that the knife actually goes through or anything. Look at the fish, but respectfully, of course, respectfully. It it looks very tasty. So this is a little. This is the this is the little things that I love within this game so much. When you think about it, a lot of games would miss this little detail because it's not important, right? Who freaking cares? <laughs> Imagine if they bring back the King of a uh, Serpent. Eight man hunt would be awesome. Well, we'll see what they do. I really like those little details. They are very important, but a lot of people don't put much attention to them. There's a some point in the past game of Monhan I played, there was event quest that can host up to 16 hunters for one giant monster. Sounds like a lot of chaos! <laughs> oh, look at this monster just chilling in the background. The face animations are great too. Yes, they're very nice, smooth, they're not awkward. It's also details to other ingredients you use, such as mushroom, herbs, etc. Yeah, I really like, like that it actually... Whatever you use for cooking, it actually ends up in the pot and you're actually eating one of those things. It was on mobile too? Oh wait, mobile. Well, yeah, you can check them right in the field. Oh, this is the rolls. Okay, okay, yeah, this is the reward system. The only up, uh, the only upset I have is no Gram Meowster Chef, which Tori still hasn't seen. I'm sorry, I'm gonna see. I'm see. Hi, Daniel. Welcome. Happy to see you. This is the highlights. Yeah, this is the highlights. Yeah, you don't need to go anywhere. You get these awards and then you're still... That's nice, anywhere. that's nice. It kind of it kind of reminds me of Overwatch ending screen. I'm sorry. That that's what, what my brain was to uh, so gravitating towards when I saw this. What would your one piece of or first piece of advice be for new hunters when they first go into the Windward Plains? I'd like to see some uh, sort of damage stat. Mm. Maybe you could, maybe it could be uh, provided. I don't know how much. I don't know if that's an important uh, information because that could boil some toxicity because, you know, I would be worried that that would make some people point out, oh, why did you do so little damage or, you know, you are not so helpful because look at the damage. I would be worried about that. I would be worried about that. <laughs> I would encourage you to keep an eye on the advice of the I, 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 I don't think it would be a good thing to add in this game. Because while it's not necessarily competitive and it's cooperative, I know that there are still people who would use it against the others. In real time. We also give you an option to choose that, that, that's my issue. I would if worry about that one. You're not very familiar, choose that. If you're a bit more of a veteran, I just want to see what they are running so, so I could either avoid or copy. I mean... If you get in trouble, your last ditch effort is the SLS That's why Monster Hunter has no HP bar. Yeah, it's also, you know. Fantastic. So depending on how much help you think you might need, there's something for you right there. I'll keep note of that one. And um, now we also have some questions from the community. This shows the um, all the item pouch box and stuff like that. Yeah, so we... So we're gonna see everything here, all the equipment stuff, all the item boxes and stuff like that. How the UI works here. It's interesting to see that now we don't have the, gr the normal grid, like previously. We have very different ways of doing it. This UI looks very this interesting. This is the full item box menu, which shows all kinds of items that are available, even um, things that are not going to be... Wait, so you can even add more? Or so the more you add, the more slots you have, and you can remove them? Interesting. Yeah, I don't think you necessarily need the numbers, Rookie. Uh, again, I understand your point. You want to learn from others, but you have to understand how a lot of gamers think. And I'm just worried that those numbers 
would possibly pause a window for toxicity. And I think this is also why the developers did not implement it in the end. Especially that some people are very much, you know, hardcore Monster Hunter players and they really pay attention to their stats and their builds and how min-maxing it is. And I think this is why they don't put it in because on higher level hands, it may cause a problem of people being dissatisfied with others just basing on the numbers. Go into the hunt prepared. I really love the turn. It's so cool. I did show you that before, so I'm just having a little bit of a think yeah. here. What should, what should we do? Decisions, decisions. 14 to choose from. It's a, <laughs> it's a great selection. Well, you can change your weapon at any time by popping back to camp. So That's there's true. no need to get too intensely stressed about it. Say, oh, yeah. So you can swap your weapons all the time because of your mount. That's Two interesting. Build with you, and then with the seamless gameplay, straight back to camp, change up your weapons and head back out again. Uh, true, because now we don't have the loading screens. You can just swap it whenever you want during the hunt. Yeah, and in the camp. Yeah, that's that's very, very... Very nice, because this was something that sometimes was missing, that you couldn't change some things once you went on the quest. It was locked. You had to really prepare before quest. So this is very nice. This is very nice to see that now you don't have to worry about it. You go on the quest. If you decided, oh, I forgot about something, I forgot to swap something or whatever, you can just run back really quick, swap it and go back out. Yeah, no more going back to hub to swap the weapons and specifically ending your quest to change something because you forgot. Environment overview. Oh, that's a cool little thingy here. I want to check what, uh, what's the next timestamp. So we're, we're in the environment overview here and you can see not only which monsters are on the field and what conditions are going to be happening, but as he's toggling the, um, the timeline and mm. you see he's hitting left and right on the D-pad to move the minutes along, it's also going to show him the, show the different situations that are going oh, to Oh, I really like that. You just described what my job is, Hunter, and what I work as a restaurant. <laughs> I love this 3D map too, and I really like that you can check what may happen in the in the future. Listen to Tori, she's a game dev, she knows how- No, Slim, stop it! You know very well that I'm not a game dev. I'm not! No, listen to me, I'm always right. Of course, Crab, you are. Okay, so let's- Wait, let's get another timestamp here. I really wish they timestamped it themselves. Yeah, we've shown in some of the other presentations, even the one we just had on the stage, where- it, it can be quite rewarding to lure Raidao into your target wow. monster's area because you can expect. I wonder like this right visualization <laughs> of the health, isn't it? I think it may be always, um, it may be a bit too fancy, too distracting, at least to me. Uh, I always look for it, especially in multiplayer games. Mm, okay. Uh, it has a purpose? Okay. I know that this is a health. I just want to know why is it so fancy. What is the red waves mean? So you might notice that sometimes you hear the palico shouting something out and that the health case kind of quivers with mm. an intense red effect. That's an indication that the, you're about to receive attack that if you don't get away from it or don't dodge, it's going to wipe your HP out. Oh, so this shows you when it's just going to freaking uh, kill you. Okay, okay. That this, this next attack that is aimed at you may just knock you out. Yeah, cart. yeah so it's essentially a card warning for you to make sure that you know that you're in trouble. We probably will, Aris. I don't think they would. We already saw that there is Puke Puke for sure. You're going to die! Oh, so is your. Hey, looking bro warning! Yeah, that I. I understand the, the interest. This is an interesting little thing. I did not thought that that would be the case with, um, with this. I wonder how my immortal build will be affected in this game. Probably will be. The amount of research I will do for this game. Yep. Much for the sacred mind as well, because whenever it's um, with 
Oh my god, look at this cave. It's so beautiful. If you're using auto or manual whenever mm -hmm. you're traveling along on it, you can actually still use your hook slinger while you're riding along. So if you see one of these... Oh, I really like, like this. It's a really you nice environment. Not even getting off your mind. So keeping up the pace and uh, hopefully keeping up or getting away from Raid Out. <laughs> I think this is the first time we've shown this area actually. Oh wow. Very pretty. Very pretty this little cave. Yes. If anyone watched our stage stream that we had in the last hour or so, um, Ryozo actually ended up falling into a sand trap. Oh, so when you go through the sand trap, you end up in a new area of the map. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> nice! That's a <laughs> nice environmental trap for the monster. To, uh, pull that um, rock art drop apart and damage him when he fell, but my Palico had very usefully set up a trap underneath. Very so nice, very work. nice. That teamwork makes the dream work. I really like the texture in this game in general, Daniel. It's very, very good. All the textures look very pretty. There's the stunning bomb. Always handy for getting a borrowed monster. There you go, right. guys. Bombs. Mogutiri monster. Oh, I know. Hikidas is only many items. So, this is it. Oh. Ooh. The switch act is dealing out some big damage right now. That, that was a nice little combo there. On. Um, it's not a cart warning, as we said. Yep, yeah. I saw in the chat a few people were. Latching onto that word, but we clarified that it's more warning you whenever you're going to get exhausted. Like so. a, a uh, they do first time some does when it changes. Uh, changes what, uh, Captain? The axe is actually moving fast. It is. Okay, environment. Okay, the day two first time stump. I've had enough of that. Wait. Oh gosh. Uh huh, I see it. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, yeah, I can see it. Wow, that's so cool, man. This 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 animation is very nice. Interesting, very interesting. It looks very nice. Okay, 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 that's cool. Part hunting companion. Are there any other ways that the Palico can aid you in distinctive ways? そうですね。えっと、ま、回復したり、えっと、ま、飛ぶモンスターがいたら先行の虫かごみたいな。いや、ストミオールアバウトデカト。この非常ちょっとこれも初めて見せるんじゃないかな。オー、ルックアッドス
versatility that it gives to you who you want to take for a hunt. Fixing your settings there. You could also, you know, make it so that you don't want any human hunters to join whenever you call for an SOS blur if you're, uh, you know. Are you telling me I can take free particles in the hunt? Well, I'm never joining you folks for a hunt ever again. Oh, god damn it. Rip. W Crab never will join us. He has his palicos. He doesn't need no human to help him anymore. Such toddy noises. A, so a, chill. a solo hunter, then those are options available to you. I just can't demonstrate them to you today because they're not in this particular demo version. Okay, so it's not oh. in this demo, but it Surprise is an option <laughs> anyways. Okay. That's great to know that players will have that flexibility depending on what support they want and who they want that support to be. Yeah, I really like that. Uh, Tokuri san We've not seen this area before, right? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're right. He, he just realized, yeah, we, we, never, we never showed you that one, huh? <laughs> nice! If I have a chance, I'm going to make my title Crazy Catman or something along the lines. <laughs> of course you will, why am I not surprised? This hunting horn looks very interesting. It looks like a trumpet. I don't know if it's a trumpet or how it's called in English. I'm not certain, but it looks very interesting. I see that the movements are still similar. Do you think those grappling hooks can be used uh, like the wire bags? As far as I saw, no. They do not seem to be like fire uh, wire bugs. They seem to be more to grab something than to fly around like with wire bugs. At least that's what I think. I think you can see there's a kind of static charge here on the ground. It might be I'm wrong, but yeah. You can see here that that actually provides a sort of um, range effect on his lightning attacks that he hits the ground with. So once I see he hits they the can be used to, to evade uh, in some moves. Much bigger mm -hmm. explosion than usual. So in some cases, the environment can make the monster even more dangerous to fight with specific attacks. That's really so this Exactly. This nest is radar. I assume you're referring so to the hammer. <laughs> <This is> <laughs> <true>. <laughs> he definitely has the home advantage. I think it's a mix of. Uh, I didn't saw it being used necessarily as wire, as much as wire bugs. So there is a way to um, cope with this. You can oh. see that in this area, we've got rid of some of the static effects. Oh, that's cool. That's because we're using the insulator pod here that we um, charged our sling uh, hook slinger with, and that gets rid of that static and makes it a safer area to stand. It, it won't let that area effect actually happen. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. players that pay attention mm -hmm. to the environment and resources around them can really get some good benefits to help them against more powerful monsters. Having an interview while you have to fight a freaking apex monster, I, I I applaud this guy seriously. Like I applaud him for being able to split his uh thing his his thinking like that, where he is able to sit there, chilling, playing the game but also have a full-on interview answering the questions and stuff like like this is not easy guys this is not easy to make an interview because he's not talking about what he's doing in a game or making a joke about the game like uh, what streamers are doing he's actually having a full-on interview being able to do that <laughs> that's right i mean as you know okay you're a crazy world, crap okay made a feature of using the environment to your advantage in the game so that's this is what I mean. Streamers, yes, they do that on a certain level. I agree with that. But I think that with having an interview, it's a bit a bit different because you have to really focus on what they're asking you and answer in a way that the people will understand. Remember that having an interview, you have to be also careful how you really phrase things and stuff like that. This is I would say that it's a bit harder than just being a streamer. I can blabber about anything and it doesn't really matter what I blabber about. 
He can literally do that. Something we're building on in Monster Hunter Wild. So, <laughs> He's cute! I think it's harder for students as they uh, have to look at the chat middle of fight, unlike interviewer uh, who is talking next to you. On some level, yes, but uh, as a streamer, I a lot of times when I am very focused on trying to defeat a monster, I actually do not really look at chat or react to it as much. I do slip a lot more messages uh, throughout. You just have to then know which message to actually answer to or not. Which one is important? You have to filter the chat then. Oh, the shooting thingy! Radar, I think, is a monster where if you don't... You're, go you're gonna need to really focus on taking it down if you want to do it in time. It's gonna be a very tough and focused fight. No, yeah, this was the, the, the last uh, the last uh, timestamp for the videos. So let's hop on here. And let's see these. Okay, this, oh, this are, these are dual blades, guys. No, thank you. These are the dual blades. We go all in. My goodness, this just looks like being a freaking um, what is it called? Like a ninja. I'm a ninja. Pia pia pia. Cha 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 cha. Hiya. <laughs> I'm sorry, it really looks like martial arts with freaking knives in your hands. <laughs> it really does. Oh, wait, not this one. I wanted this one. There we go. Okay, so these are the cycles that we can see. These are these are the beautiful, beautiful areas. I'm really hoping that this is how it's gonna look on the PC because in the videos it was so grainy. It couldn't capture the beauty of these uh, of these pictures. It was so sad to see that I cannot see the beautiful pictures like this from the from the streams and videos that we watched but this is very pretty this is very beautiful oh i love this it's very interesting ah oh, this is the cooking animation let's go oh look at this meat oh the cat oh my goodness i want to chomp this meat why does it let me freaking to send these photos uh, into the local news station with how nice they look. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this cooking animation is awesome. Using Athos, an elite long haired palico that uh, accompanies Olivia, ha hardened through many uh, special missions, uh, executes an aura of city. Ooh. I wanna pet it. It looks so soft! Hi, Cuckooland, welcome! The bunny is doing well, thank you! This looks so soft! I just wanna pet it, little monyo monyo monyo, so cute! Adorable! Olivia! Oh, this is Olivia! This is the Kato's, uh, the Kato's friend! Uh, veteran Hunter with um, a vast experience having uh, taken on special missions on behalf of Hunter's Guild, prior joining the Forbidden Lands expedition teams. Now she can be uh, called in, uh, to assist you as a support hunter during quests. Hmm. New scholar chef kit for real? Let's go! I mean... I don't know if it's just me, but I would slightly change her face. At the, ver at the very first glance, I thought she's a male character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The palico looks like it's gonna claim some land. It's very, very good little palico. This looks a bit masculine to me. I would I would slightly make it delicate. I can even see. She looked a bit different previously. And this, I can see that she's a female. And this one, I have a bit trouble with that. They're about to give you a 4 plus in Uno. <laughs> yes. Uh, Ray Dayu is a flying wavern that rules the uh, windward plains as an apex predator. Oh, this is the big one! This is the big one! My goodness, look at this design. Oh, it's so pretty! I can see the scales and its freaking wings. I don't know if you guys can see those. There we go. There we go. I can't open the picture. Look at the wings! We can see the little veins on them! My goodness! This is so cool! At first I thought it's gonna be an elder. 
Mm, well, I, I didn't thought anything, but this looks so cool that you can see every single little detail here. Damn, man, looks very nice. Monster Hunter Wilds welcome a new uh, Temnosaren Lala Barina, which weaves its nest in the Scarlet Forest. Lala Barina moves with a forbid, uh, foreboding grace, unfolding its uh, thorax at will, revealing the appearance of a rose in bloom. This is this poo there! Bleh! This poo there is so ugly! Ew! Me hate this poo there, but I understand. But me hate this poo there. It's so ugly, man. I understand it, but it's so ew. New waifu, you're a weird crab. Uh, Ryozo has his uh, priorities. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Everyone just freaking struggling in Yozo. Yay, fishy! Oh, this is great. I love it. Absolutely great freaking joke. I love this. I've I've loved this joke. Okay. Okay. I think I think uh, that is all of the stuff that I wanted to check today with Monster Hunter, and it took me freaking forever uh, because I cannot be quick with these things. Of course, uh, the most well put together hunting team in the ground. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, now it's time to actually boot up our Monster Hunter, but we just have Monster Hunter World, I'm sorry to disappoint. 